Trig Watson was on America's Got Talent last night, and Illusionist Goes to War with Ekaterina and Magic Exposure on YouTube. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Alan here. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon, all that kind of stuff so I can fight that YouTube algorithm. First uh, news today, we're going to talk about Trig Watson and his performance on AGT. Y'all know a, uh, Trig is a great friend of mine and somebody who I've even had on this channel before. So if you haven't seen that video, you should, uh, I think it's up here or up here. I think it's up here. I'll leave a link where you can watch our um, interview. So uh, Trig was on the semifinals for AGT last night. He did an incredible trick with um, Kyle Marlette. And that was where they perform on stage together through the television and at the very end, uh, it shows that it's not even a live video. It's actually a recording. Actually, just kidding. It's not a recording. It's a poster that's behind a transparent television, and none of it actually happened. It's so cool. You have to see it. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out that video for yourself. You definitely need to watch that. Um, if you haven't voted, I think it's too late to vote now, but I was definitely up there watching him and tried to get the word out beforehand. Second up the news today, Ekaterina. Um, you probably know her. I've been uh i've known about her since united cardists which used to be a website for cardistry a uh, long long time ago i've known and followed her career all the way through that wizard wars her youtube channel all that stuff well uh recently she got into a little bit of a trouble with illusionist for doing some youtube shorts that revealed some marketed effects from illusionist illusionist obviously is not pretty happy about that they reached out to her um, i don't know her side of the story yet but as far as i know they reached out to her asked her to take those down she blocked them and then i'm sure that they went and did some copyright strikes to her videos because you can't find any of them on her youtube channel anymore so i wonder what's happening with that she's probably fighting those uh and then you get an email from the illusionist who says hey we're actually going to go to war with magic exposure online and they have set out some guidelines on how this will work, right? They're, they're creating bounties for people to go out, take down videos, and then provide proof that those videos were taken down. And then, uh, you know, they'll, they'll pay a bounty. The fear that I have, I like that Illusionist is trying to do something to fix magic exposure online. You guys know on this channel, I only show stuff that's in the public domain. I do teach magic tutorials. It's nothing that you're going to see that's a marketed effect. I've actually been very clear and deliberate in making sure that that's not a thing that ever happens. Though, um, I think what's going to happen is we're going to have some unintended consequences of this. I don't know exactly what all they will be, but I think what's going to happen is, and Illusionist was pretty clear about this. They wanted to make sure people go, hey, don't just take down, just don't mark every single video. Don't like create a channel where you expose stuff and then like try to market yourself because we'll know. Um, so they're going after big creators who are revealing magic online and, um, the, they're trying to make sure to mitigate this to things that are like in the, like if people have the right to share that magic public domain stuff, that that stuff isn't taken down. But the problem is illusionists can't police what people take down, right? They've put it out there. We're going to start paying people monetarily to shut down magic exposure online which sounds good, but you know the thing is is that if the somebody doesn't know that something's not exposure, might like don't know what's in the public domain necessarily, then you're gonna have people on there from all different skill levels, knowledge levels that are going to go, oh well, I can make a quick buck from you know knocking down copyrighted videos or exposing magic online and they're gonna hit some people probably I, I hope not, but probably me and, and some other people who are sharing, public domain stuff. And that's my concern is that now I'm going to have to be at war with the people watching my videos because they're trying to make a illusionist bounty, even though they're not within their rights to, to do that. So I'm not sure what the solution is. I, I fear unintended consequences from this action from illusionist, but on their side, I don't know what else you do. Um, they are trying to get these taken down magic exposure is rampant online. YouTube is a big one. Scribed is another one. There's a lot of places where magic is exposed online. And, uh, I want to hear your guys' opinions. Do you think this is a good thing for magic or do you think it's a, maybe might have some unintended consequences? I want to hear your thoughts. That's it for today's magic news. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and, uh, hit the bell icon that way you don't miss a single video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.